If someone could be with them on, on a regular basis and kind of um, had the spotlight on their life, um, they will see a lot of violence. They will see a lot of struggle to be able to just make it, um, make it to school, um, be able to focus because they're hungry. Um, there's a lot of uh, drug activity in their communities. There's a lot of... Um, not necessarily knowing where they're going to live. Each of them share a struggle of not knowing. What's unique about the kids that we see from these areas when they come into our offices for therapy um, is stress uh, and um, external stress, day-to-day -day, um, issues of you know family violence, um, complications of of, of uh, you know day-to-day -day coping with with things like poverty, um, but also then internalized stress um, from from what's around them in the community. And and the word that we use a lot in our in our field is trauma. How old are you? I'm 18. You're 18. Have you ever, have you had to deal with trauma or do you know someone in your family or one of your friends who has been impacted by trauma? Well, actually I do. My aunties, uh, they were both shot and stabbed to death uh, various times. And my little cousin, he was only about like two, three. He doesn't even know his mom. How do you think that's impacted your cousin not having his mom around? And I mean, does he know how she passed away? Yes. I mean, it would impact him very hard because when he go out, he see everyone with their mom, like having fun, holding their mom hand, talking. Like when he has something to talk about that he only wants to talk about, he can't go to his mom like, Ma, I got to talk to you. We know that you like to read and you like to write, and you brought one of your poetry pieces here to share. Uh, would you share it with us? Sure. It's called, How Can You? How could they say, shoot for the stars, and things keep getting your way, and things keep getting harder day by day? How can they say, go out through your dreams? And many people don't know what that means. How can they say you can do it if you try when there's no one to help you get by? How can you keep looking forward and the past keep bringing you down? How can you make it and it seems like your heart is on the ground? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm only 15 years old and I've been through a lot. I know what y'all going through. Don't give up. Don't give in. It's going to get better. So, <coughs> you're from Kentucky, not used to that, right? But it's like, for some of y'all, y'all everyday existence. Y'all lose people, people get shot, get beat up. That happens all the time, right? No? Yeah. yeah. So, the, the point of this project, the point of this work is to talk about Her, trauma. To talk about, um, it's to talk about trauma. It's to talk about how it impacts our community and more importantly, what we can do to deal with it. Sometimes the trauma is so severe, it causes you to have flashbacks. Any of y'all ever had a trauma so strong you came like a flashback? Like we're having it. Yeah. Do you want to share your story? Just something? 
No. <laughs> no, that's all good. You want to share your story? No, we heard the police and stuff. It was like literally right down the street from where I was getting my hair done at. And come to find out, it was my brother had got killed. Bullet was meant for his cousin. He was just riding in the car visiting. They shot up the car. Bullet hit one of his organs, bled to death, died. Anybody got a similar story? Wrong place, wrong time for somebody, or bullet meant for somebody else? And it takes your loved one? That happened pretty much everywhere. Though. on trees, people dying, yes. mom, dad, see them kids crying, all I peep on that shirt, that's my cousin, four, five, still fussing. The kids know, the youth understand what's going on in the communities and they, they sitting right there in it. And who better to talk to than the people that's front row. Crackheads, alley cats, the elderly, in my city I hear emblem cars, police sirens. In my city I see roadkill, trash houses, and sad people. In my city, sometimes I see people having fun. I see kids playing together, blacks and whites. In my city, sometimes I wish the violence would stop. Violence would stop. In my city. Thank y'all. In my city, there are people. And in that city of people, there's violence. And in that city of people with violence, there's death. And in that city of people with death and violence, if we don't stop it, no one makes it out of this city alive. You got to snap on that one. I know that right to end. Who's next? In my city, I see hate, crime. Not love, that's basically you. In my city, I see drug dealers as teens. Oh, yeah. Drug dealers. I, in my city, I see kids repping hoods and not gangs, which not supposed to be gangs either, but it's just more crime off it's the hood than gang. gang. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's it. All right, thank you. Um, In my city, I mean, I see church people, you know, I live across the street from a church, so it's a lot of spiritual, but a lot of crime and like crackheads and little kids, you know, running around setting houses on fire just for fun. But also in my city, like, I know a lot of positive adults that I can go to and talk to if I'm having a problem or if I see something I don't like, if I'm feeling a certain way, I have people in my city that I can go to and talk to. In her city. In my city. Before we close out, what sounds would you like to hear? If you had a, any sound you would like to hear, what sounds would you want to hear in your city? I want to hear dashing in the pools. I want to hear for it. people singing <laughs> in the choir. Waterfalls. Oh, you can sing. I want to oh, hear you hear that? People getting along. Yeah. You want to hear people hear getting along. <laughs> what do you so want to hear? If you had a wish, if you could wish for one thing that you could hear in your city, what would that be? Nonviolence. <laughs> I would just, I want to hear more of a peaceful, happy laughter. Like, what does peace sound like? I don't know. Just not what I'm hearing. Anything other than what I'm hearing. Not what we hear in the everyday life. The young people um, are people who are, are ready to do what they need to do for themselves. So the young people who come on a regular basis are ready to make that step. They are actively participating in programs that, that are going to help them get there. They're ready to go to college. They're ready to step up and be who they're going to be in their adult lives. I hope to be able to plant a seed um, that will one day grow and, and allow them to be who they really want to be and positive citizens in their community. I want them to be doctors and lawyers and nurses and teachers and presidents if that's what they want to be.
when um, the the my most that moment for me for as when working at at North Division was when a young people a young person came to me, and she said, uh, "Miss Tamara, I got it, I got it." She said that I am not my circumstances, and I'm gonna make it. Teddy bears on trees, people dying. Mom, dad, see them kids crying. RIP on that shirt, that's my cousin. Four, five, things still busting. Teddy bears on trees, people dying. Mom, dad, see them kids crying. RIP on that shirt, that's my cousin. Four, five. Teddy bears on trees and shoot and tag like Facebook. 